Welcome everybody, thanks for joining me in another walk. I'm Alistair and this is the Highland Hikers. So in a quest to try and uh, keep up some long distance walking and to try and do something a bit more interesting, I am going to attempt a kind of, bit of a two part walk to this one. I'm going to walk the basically length of the River Clyde as it crosses through the Glasgow City Council area. So I'm starting in the easternmost point and walking to the westernmost point. I think it will take me probably about two days. I could probably do it in a day, but it would be an awful long day. And if I'm stopping for a video in every two minutes, it'll, uh, it'll certainly make it an extremely long day. So I thought I'd break it up over two days. And today I'm starting in the kind of most easternly point, which is just next to Carmyle. The actual true most decent point is just kind of further down here and around the bend but there isn't a path to it and if I wanted to kind of go a wee bit off road I'd pretty much have to negotiate a kind of crematorium and also a big kind of chemical plant which is further down that way and I didn't really fancy it so I've kind of come to where I am just now right next to the Clyde and this old railway bridge behind me um, another kind of uh, antique as should we say from uh, the kind of beaching times when the, the Dr. Beaching Cuts came about and uh, basically closed a whole bunch of uh, railways across the whole country. Um, so that's kind of, you can't get up there anymore, but probably get a nice wee view. So I'm starting here, Camille. I'm heading east. I think I'll probably get to about the Science Centre today. It's a good uh, 14, 15 kilometres down that way. Um, there's going to be no ascent in this whatsoever. I'm walking right next to the Clyde the whole way. It's pretty much a national cycle route, I think, uh, the entire journey. Um, so I'm just going to see what I see along the way. The, the weather's nice, I've not got my jacket on, I've not got a, a tammy on or gloves or a scarf, so it's a, it's a nice change of pace. It's turned out to be a much nicer day than I was expecting. I thought it was going to be pretty much overcast, but clouds are breaking a wee bit, there's some blue sky and it's a, certainly more pleasant. I could feel like I could almost take off my, my fleece just to cool me down a wee bit. So if you're considering uh, coming this route, if you were wanting to get near to the start point where I started from, I would recommend getting the train maybe to Camayo and then walking from there. I don't think it'd be very far at all. Less than a mile anyway to the start point from there or you could get the train to Cambus Lang, walk down towards the supermarket there and cross the river and join the, the path from there. Either would bring you on to it and you wouldn't miss much at the beginning part of the walk anyway. The other thing just to be aware of is that it's a national cycle route and there are a lot of cyclists kind of coming and going. Some ring their bell, some don't, so you've just got to be a wee bit cautious as you go. So just across the river from me is the Cunningar Loop, which used to be a pretty much a bit of a waste ground, I think, before being redeveloped into this really kind of small park with a kind of lot of kind of kids things, uh, adventure playgrounds and stuff like that. Uh, I know my grandparents have taken my kids over there a few times, but I've never been myself. There was a, a new bridge built just to access it from the north side of the Clyde as well. So if you are in this area and looking for something to do, Head down there, I believe it is very popular and there is a car park at the other end if you are coming a wee bit further than uh, being local. But uh, the walk's turned into a bit something better than I thought it would be. Uh, I was talking to some guys here fishing. If you uh, are watching this guys, hope you caught something. But uh, it's, it's very pleasant actually. There's not many people and kind of feeling out that sense of isolation you kind of been longing for for a wee while. And I'm just absolutely dying to get up some hills in Monroe's again. If you're the same, give us a wee comment below on uh, the walk that you're planning and doing. As soon as we come out of lockdown, I'm sure the hills will be absolutely rammed with people that day. So uh, hi, drop us a wee comment, tell me what walk you're going to be doing that very first day that you're going to be getting set free. So 
just in the opposite bank from the Cunningar Loop. It's where the Athletes Village was for the 2014 Commonwealth Games that were held in Glasgow. That really kick-started a good bit of redevelopment in the area, which led to a lot of new housing and some extra redevelopment as well, which is still ongoing just now. I'm almost to the end of the walk now. I've just stopped off at Glasgow Green just to rest the legs a wee bit and just to fly the drone slightly. Um, it's great having such a small drone. It means you can fly it in kind of places like this. If it was larger, then you'd be completely uh, restricted in where you could fly it and you certainly couldn't fly it within the city limits. So It's been a wee bit since I've done that, a long distance walk and um, my legs are starting to feel a wee bit now. I've, I've only maybe got about three kilometers left, I think, before I get to the science center and where I intend to kind of to cut and bring this one to an end, but I should also point out Glasgow Green, this was the start point for my lowest to highest uh, video I did uh, a few months ago, um, where I walked from the lowest point in Glasgow to the highest point in Glasgow City, so again it was about a 15 kilometre walk and you should definitely check that video out um, if you get a wee chance. I'm now walking through what I would probably call the heart of the city centre almost, just right in front of the financial district, and just kind of stopping to admire the, the bridges along the way. It's, I've seen so many photos of these places, but I don't think I've ever actually walked across half of them, so I've been trying to kind of zigzag across them as I've been walking down the, the Clyde here, but it's just a wee bit of shame. Uh, the last one there's pretty badly graffitied at points, it's a bit of, you know, it detracts from its beauty. So that's me at the end of the walk now. It's just over 15 kilometres to here, and my legs are feeling it a wee bit now. It's, as I said earlier, it's been a while since I've been out doing this. So this is the end of part one. Join me again for part two when we start just about here and we will continue with the rest of the walk till we get to the most westerly point on the River Clyde within the Glasgow City Council area. And hopefully we won't be in uh, lockdown for too much longer and uh, we can get some uh, hills and mountains back under our belts and you can uh, enjoy those videos soon.